It all started here, when Luis Enrique Martinez decided not to continue as the FC Barcelona manager after a successful three years. Luis Enrique's time as FC Barcelona's coach ended with a fantastic record of nine trophies, a club World Cup, a Champions League, two Spanish Super Cups, two league titles, and three Copa del Rey trophies, from a possible 13. On May 29, 2017, Valverde replaced Luis Enrique as the new Barcelona manager. And the problems began. With Neymar leaving the summer of that year, a lot of questions were in the Catalans' minds, and a lot of doubts about the direction decisions. Ernesto Valverde's spell began with defeat, as rivals Real Madrid won both legs of the Spanish Super Cup at the season's outset. However, the team then went on a 29-match unbeaten run in all competitions from August 20, 2017 until January 17, 2018, when they lost to Espanyol in the first leg of the quarter-finals of the Spanish Cup. They recovered to progress in the second tie as part of another sequence of 15 matches without defeat, before a loss to AS Roma in the famous remontada in the quarter-finals of the UEFA Champions League on April 10, with the 3-0 defeat meaning the Italians progressed on the away goals rule. Barcelona remained undefeated for 43 matches in the Spanish league only to lose in their penultimate game of the campaign on May 13, 2018, having wrested Lionel Messi for the trip to Levante. They were beaten 5-4 by the hosts in that famous game, the Catalans that year finished with a league and cup double, defeating Sevilla 5-0 in the Copa del Rey final, a game where the legend Iniesta scored his last goal for the Blaugrana. The next year Ernesto Valverde led his team to their first Champions League semi-final after a gap of three years, winning 3-0 at home against Liverpool, at a game where Messi scored a beautiful free kick. But being eliminated after an upset 0-4 defeat at Anfield in the second leg, leading many to call for his dismissal. He also guided the side to another Spanish Cup final, this time losing 2-1 to, to Valencia. Valverde remained in charge for the start of 2019-20. Despite the team winning their Champions League group and being top of the league table by the new year on goal difference. Poor performances in a period in December and January that saw them win only one in five matches meant his position once again came under pressure. On January 13, 2020, he was dismissed by the club, with his last game being a 3-2 defeat to Atletico Madrid in the Supercopa de España. He was replaced by former Real Betis coach Kiki Setien. Chichi Setien signed as head coach of Barcelona on January 13, 2020, replacing the dismissed Ernesto Valverde on a contract lasting to June 2022. When Chichi joined Barcelona, the Catalans thought that boldness and free-flowing football would be back at Camp Nou, and it did, for three matches. Setien's debut was against Granada, and despite only winning 1-0, his side made over 1,000 passes and played Granada, a team that reached Europe that year. After the Valencia 2-0 loss in January, Kiki Setien seemed to go back to Ernesto Valverde's tactics and scrap the three at the back formation for a 4-4-2 or 4-3-3 with Arturo Vidal on the left. In the next few months came dull and outdated football, with no substitutions despite having five and playing the same old guard and losing the league in the process. The team eventually finished the domestic league in second position, behind Real Madrid. On August 14, 2020, they lost 8-2 to FC Bayern Munich in the quarter-finals of the UEFA Champions League, which was the first time in 74 years that the club had conceded eight goals in a game. He was officially dismissed three days later. Barcelona finished the season trophyless for the first time in 12 years. On August 19, 2020, Coman was announced as the new manager of Barcelona, 
on a two-year contract until June 30, 2022. In his first competitive game in charge, Barcelona beat Villarreal 4-0 at the Camp Nou in La Liga. On October 17, Coleman suffered his first loss as Barcelona manager after a 1-0 away defeat against Hetafe. On October 24, he lost the first Clásico of the season to arch-rivals Real Madrid by a 3-1 scoreline. On March 11, Barcelona were knocked out of the Champions League in the round of 16 against PSG after failing to turn around a 1-4 loss at home, losing 2-5 on aggregate. On April 17, Coman led the Blog Rana to a 4-0 win over Athletic Bilbao in the 2021 Copa del Rey final, gaining revenge for the Supercopa defeat at the same venue three months earlier. Following the end of the season, club president Joan Laporta admitted that Coman was not his first choice and was looking for a manager. Barcelona began the 2021-2022 season with a 4-2 home victory over Real Sociedad in La Liga. However, in their next 10 matches, they had a disappointing run of games with four wins, three draws and three defeats including consecutive 3-0 losses against Bayern Munich and Benfica in the Champions League group stage and a 2-0 away defeat against title contenders Atletico Madrid in La Liga. On October 28, the club announced that Coman had been relieved of his duties as manager following the team's 1-0 away defeat against Rayo Vallecano. A week later, Xavi was announced as his replacement. On November 6, 2021, Xavi returned to his former club Barcelona as the new manager replacing Ronald Koeman on a contract until June 2024, 97. In his first game in charge, Barcelona defeated local rival Espanyol by a 1-0 scoreline at the Camp Nou in La Liga to win his first Catalan derby as manager. On December 4, Xavi suffered his first defeat as Barcelona manager after losing 1-0 to Real Betis at home in La Liga. Xavi's first Champions League campaign, he took charge with two group stage matches remaining. After drawing 0-0 with Benfica at the Camp Nou on November 23 and losing 3-0 to Bayern Munich on December 8 at the Allianz Arena, Barcelona finished third in the group stage which put them in the Europa League knockout round playoffs. The first half of the season was a disaster for Barcelona and it was one that cost them head coach Ronald Koeman. Even Xavi Hernandez struggled to correct the ship quickly, with the Blagrana dropping out of the Champions League. New signings in January were needed, and Laporta made one of the best mercados in his history as a president of the Blagrana. After a difficult start, Xavi is now showed to Camp Nou that he might be the right man for the next years, now, there is nothing but optimism between Barcelona fans. The Blagrana have now scored 12 goals in three games, scoring four in each of those games, 4-1 against Valencia, 4-2 against Napoli, and 4-0 against Athletic Club. Also let's not forget an amazing game on the 6th of February against Atletico that ended with a 4-2. The Blagrana have now scored 12 goals in three games, scoring four in each of those games, 4-1 against Valencia, 4-2 against Napoli, and 4-0 against Athletic Club. Also let's not forget an amazing game on the 6th of February against Atletico that ended with a 4-2, Xavi's team seems now on the right path, and a lot of optimism inside the Barcelona's club. And a lot of the Catalans are demanding the Europa League title from Xavi's squad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. I hope you guys like the video and subscribe to my small channel. And tell me what do you think of the current Barcelona.